So what does it all mean? One six scale, one three scale, YoSD, MSD. There are these terms that Volks actually originally coined, which was later used in the BJD community to define the size of a doll. Now, resin BJD, if I'm understanding this right, this is what I've read, feel free to correct me in the comments below. The original BJDs were made in the 1-3 scale, which is about a 60 centimeter doll, like this Dolphy Dream Dynamite doll right here. And this is Toa from the Volks USA store. And I remember her to be, I think, at 58 centimeters or 60 centimeters exact. Now she is a little bit taller than this girl because she's got heels on. And her and Smart Doll seem to be about the same height. I just have her scooted a little farther forward because of her stand. She looks like she's just ever so slightly shorter. And another term for this 1-3 scale doll is also SD, which I'm thinking means standard doll standard sized doll and this is a mystic kids doll he seems to be shorter than smart doll mirai and dolphy dream dynamite toa and so she's kind of in between one three scale and one four it's this doll that i bought from fairy castle from jane's doll land she's considered one four scale or MSD, which I'm understanding means mid-standard size. I couldn't actually find anything on the internet that said what that meant. Yo SD, MSD. The next size underneath MSD would be Yo SD, which is one six scale doll. The MSD and the Yo SD, which I don't have any ball jointed or vinyl dolls that are in the one six scale, but they are about this height. So this height here of Hatsune Miku Pulip doll, 27 centimeter or one six scale doll, Rainbow High doll, Barbie, Pulip. Now there's down the one eighth, and there are BJDs I've seen on websites that are in this scale as well. And then you're moving into one twelfth. Now there are also dolls that are half a scale of a human being, so they call them one half. I also read, and I've seen as well, is that the MSD dolls can be either more slim or more healthier in the thighs, have thicker thighs, and that the thicker thighed MSD and Yo SD, which I'm thinking means youth standard size, can either be um, thicker in the leg, denoting that they're more childlike, or more slimmer, denoting that they're teenager. In between half a scale of a human and the one three scale doll, there's also 70 centimeter high dolls, which I don't have any. And I've seen those mostly to be male BJD. And I've now also seen both genders in that height. So that's what that all means. Those different scales mean the different sizes. These two dolls also wanted to add are vinyl dolls with articulation in their joints. And then these two dolls are official ball jointed dolls. So they have strings inside of them, which help their joints have articulation. And the string is basically what holds the doll together and it's a stretchy cord. And that's why these dolls are able to pose. Pull-up dolls or pull-up family dolls, which is what these three dolls are right here. So this is Pull-up. This is her boyfriend's little sister, Dal. And then this is her and her boyfriend's future daughter, Yolame. There aren't many Yolames. I think there was only two that they released. These dolls are considered Asian fashion dolls. I don't know what we would call Rainbow High dolls or Monster High dolls. Comment below what you think. Would they be commercial dolls, commercial fashion dolls, uh, retail fashion dolls, North American fashion dolls? I'm not too sure. You also have different scaled things like their accessories, their cameras. So when you're shopping for furniture or clothing, these terms can be a good indication of what you're trying to find. I found on clothing stores online, they used these terms, SD, MSD, and I actually didn't really know what they meant until recently. So American Girl Dolls, or the My Generation, I believe they're called, they're one four scale and they're 
supposed to be babies or, or toddlers. I bought this chair thinking, oh yeah, that would fit for pull-up. But then I tried to put a pull-up doll in this chair and it just was a huge chair on her. Now I'm thinking this chair might work for these two girls, but I tried it with Toa and again, it was just the legs were too short. So it gets a little bit tricky with buying furniture. Some furniture that is to scale of your doll will work and some won't. I bought this camera for Toa, got this cute little plate, which is a one six scale remint and it looks like it is appropriate for the size of pull-up. So Ayumi being a MSD is technically in, I would say her teenage year. And we've got the adult dolls or the adult women here in the one three scale. A tiny doll would be 10 to 19 centimeters and then a micro would be under nine centimeters. So I just brought this fun little blind box doll girl, even though she doesn't have, she looks like a doll, but you can't change her clothes or anything. And then I brought Yola May, which is pretty close to the height of Dal. She is shorter than Dal, but she could very well be in the 20 centimeters. Nah, she's probably a little taller. So she's ever so slightly shorter than Dal, but pretty close. So they're in that one eight scale, these two girls. So there you have it. If you're ever shopping for a doll and you're a little bit confused, usually in the description of the doll, it will say how tall it is. And when I was shopping online for dolls and trying to understand what kind of clothing I should buy, furniture I should buy, usually in the description, you can find the actual size of the doll parts. So from shoulder to shoulder, her height from her feet, the length of her feet. And when you're buying clothing and furniture, there should also be notes on dimensions or you can message the sellers directly and ask them what are the dimensions of the feet, the waist or from the hip to the shoulder, just so that you can understand if the clothes that you're buying or the furniture that you're buying is going to fit your doll or if that is the doll size that you want to buy. Also to note, of course, the bigger the doll, the more material, the price usually is going up. The highest price point doll here, I would say is Dolphy Dream Dynamite. Then we're moving to Smart Doll, then Mystic Kids, then Ayumi, who is a Fairy Castle doll, and then Pull It. But there are some ball jointed dolls that are in the price range of pull it. And of the one, two, three, four sites that I bought these dolls Volks USA, Danny Chu Smart Doll, Alice's Collections, BJD, ACBJD.com, and Jane's Doll Land. Jane's Doll Land, I saw, had the most competitive pricing. She also does the face up on the doll. Little plug as well to Kika Goods for this adorable puppy. This puppy is the perfect size for your 1-3 scale doll. And it's fun because it comes in a little blind box and that is Punk Puppy from Kika Goods. If you have any questions, be sure to drop a line in the comments below. Subscribe to this channel, hit the bell so that you can be notified on all of the new juicy doll stuff that lands on this channel. Let me know what kind of dolls you have. Like and share this video to all of your doll communities. Enjoy playing with your dolls this week and I'll see you in the next video.